I wish there was an easy way for me to know how many miles I have on my running shoes. Hey, did you check Strava? I think they have an API for that. And if they do, I think you should tell your friends. That's a great idea. In, in this segment, we're going to show you how to connect Google Sheets to your Strava account using an API connector. Let's take a look at that connector first. So I'm going to manage my add-ons. I've already added this. It's called API Connector by Mixed Analytics. Make sure you get the one from them. That's the best one that I've um, discovered to do what I'm doing here. So once you get that installed, you're going to be able to use the trial to do exactly what I'm doing here. So we're going to go to add-ons and manage the connections because we need to tell the API that we want to talk to Strava. So right here, we'll see Strava as an, op op an option and we will connect. That'll bring us to the Strava login. So enter your credentials to get on to log into Strava. Okay, so once you have the API connected and you want to get the information about your gear or your running shoes, we're going to invoke a new API that's created to connect to the Strava API to get gear. So let's take a look at that API. So I'm using the API connector. I'm going to open up the console and you'll see here I have a API that's going to connect to gear. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So it's a get method of course and I am calling the Strava API gear and I'm using the API connectors feature to give it a range of cells. So I have all of the gear um, on the gear ID sheet from A2 to A32. Actually, it's an A19, so let's change that to A19. And we're going to authenticate with Strava and we're going to put the details onto the gear sheet and we give it a name of gear. So before I do that, it's going to look on the gear ID page to get the IDs of the gear. So let's take a look at that sheet. So here we have the list of the gear IDs. And the way we get that is basically just from our run. So we're just going to get the unique IDs of all of the runs that we've already pulled down that is listed here on the running tab. So now we want that gear ID, um, gear detail filled in. And then what that will do is it'll populate this list, which will be the, the shoes that we have, as well as what miles um, we've put on to that shoe. And then ultimately, we'll be able to build this chart. So what we'll do is we'll leave it on the gear detail, ta gear detail tab, and I'll run the query. Since I'm already authenticated, it is just going to run. It won't uh, prompt me for my username again. In just a moment, we'll, the screen will light up with all of, the, all of the running shoes and details on the running shoes that I have on Strava. There we go. So all our gear is here. We have the IDs again. Um, we have the list, some, some additional fields and the name. And then of course we have the important column, which is the distance. The distance is in meters. So on our filtered sheet, we convert that into miles. And then once we do that, we will now look at the chart that is now populated with all of our shoes and our miles. And this is just the unique um, capabilities of Google Sheets to uh, connect to data through an API and bring you more robust information from your Strava account. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more training tech tips. Bye. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share. And if you really liked it, please subscribe to my channel.